Hey, Charles here with Rocky Mountain, and today I'm going to give you a closer look at the Tusk Flexible Cylinder Hones. Now, these are something I use every time I do a top end, whether it's a two-stroke or four-stroke. They're going to work for your plated cylinders and your cast iron liners. So if you have a Nicosil or something else, these are going to get the job done for you. They're going to help clean up your cylinder and restore the crosshatch pattern and get that cylinder deglazed. So that crosshatch pattern is super important. It's going to help retain oil on the cylinder wall and it's going to help your ring seal. So with that said, the globs on these, they're made from 320 grit silicon carbide and there's a wide range of sizes and to make sure you get the correct one for your bike you're going to type in your year make and model so they range all the way from 39 millimeters all the way up to 105. now before you use one of these you want to make sure your cylinder is in good condition so you're going to take a look down inside and make sure it's not scratched up make sure the nicosil isn't flaking off as long as it looks pretty good you can go ahead and use one of these hones now, when you do that, you want to make sure you have some honing oil, engine oil, or even a light assembly lube. You'll spray that inside of there and on the hone. And then when you have this in your drill, you want to make sure that it's spinning before it ever goes down the cylinder. And we're just using a slow speed. We're going to go in and out and we're going to try to maintain that 45 degree crosshatch throughout the process. Now with plated cylinders, keep in mind, you're just gonna be going in and out for a few seconds. We're just trying to clean up the cylinder. So anywhere from five to 20 seconds is fine. Now, once you're done with the hone, it's really important to clean the cylinder before you put everything back together. So typically you wanna spray it down with some contact cleaner and then wash everything off in some warm soapy water and use some bottle brushes and really scrub this thing to make sure there's absolutely no grit left behind. Now, one check you can do is spray some contact cleaner on a rag and wipe down that bore. As long as it comes out clean, you know you're good to go. Now, a side note with all of that is if you have a cast iron liner, you wanna make sure you spray some light oil on that surface so it doesn't rust. So there's your closer look at the Tusk Flexible Cylinder Hones and a brief explanation on how to use these. If you have any questions, leave those down in the comments. And if you need to pick these up, they're available on our website. Just click the link in the description below and then use that drop down menu to get the correct hone for your bike. Now, if you want to see more helpful content like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel. We've got how to videos and more product spotlights. So go check those out and we'll catch you in the next video. I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Thanks for watching.